So for this glitch, you'll need the 20 rupees, the Deku stick, uh, a bottle with an item in it, bugs work best, and the item you want to use in the adventure. If you see the link in the description, you'll know what to get. And if you're having trouble getting uh, your bug in your bottle, you can just go to the Skulltula house in Kakariko Village. Just lift up this rock, and bam. Bugs. Hello world, Samster68 here, and today is my first video of Ocarina of Time 3D, and I thought we'd do Bottle Adventure, uh, the glitch. I haven't actually covered it in Majora's Mask 3D, uh, I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but I'm doing it in Ocarina of Time 3D because I feel like it, you know, sometimes I just feel like it. Um, so as you saw in the intro, you need... Um, a bottle with something in it, bug works best, um, at least one Deku stick, um, 20 rupee, 20 rupees to buy your rod, that's it, because we'll need to buy a rod, and then the item that you want to do your bottle adventure. This is something, uh, this glitch is something I saw on Zelda Speedruns, fantastic website, I get a lot of my content from that, um, lots of my glitch ideas. So, Let's just get right into it. So, Bottle Adventure is a really long and lengthy process in Ocarina of Time. Navi will be quiet. Let's look for someone who knows about the other sages. I just reached a spirit temple. I haven't beaten it yet. Um, Alright, so. First, we need to walk in here. Simple enough. Now we need to walk back out. Still pretty simple. Now we need to do an RI, a restricted items glitch. We go to items and something Adult Link can use iron boots, or his wind. And then we'll close out and then open it back up. Switch these two. And then I want to, since Furor's wind is on X, I want to hit BX really fast. Nope. Now we just swap them. Now BY. And you just kind of alternate between the two until you get it. Okay, come on. Yes! Four is wind. Alright, now it's setting our point right outside the door, which will make it easy. It doesn't really matter where it is. Um, I've actually tried to record this once and I messed up. But I accidentally set it way over there, so it gave me a long swim. Uh, all right, now that we have that in, we walk back in. We gotta talk to this guy. Buy a rod. Wait for him to stop talking. Yes. All right. And now we just do the same thing. You can actually use the iron boots in the fishing pond. So it's perfect. We're already set up. Yes. Whoa, that took too many tries. Okay, it's the same gist as what we did outside of it, um, except the number of items you're allowed to use is limited, and that doesn't really matter. All right, return to warp point. And... You hit B, and you've got your fishing rod. All right, now we need to step out into the water, and that grays your B button, which is what we need. And then if everything has been done right so far, when you press B, you should have Deku sticks. That you can't use! Alright, yes. Okay, so... Um, I didn't write this down, but I walked back in there and walked back out and it fixed the problem. And you should have your shield equipped like this, except it's not actually your shield. If you whack this rock, you can tell that I'm using up Deku sticks. Um, and if you look there, I'm down to 19. Now I'm using what looks like my Kokiri sword. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you just want to use up all your Deku sticks. You can see them flying. 
<laughs> this is weird because Adult Link's not supposed to be able to use Takey Sticks. And how many do I have left? Five. Um, I'm pretty sure I need to drain all of them. Alright, yep, that's all of them. Okay, so that was part one, and we gotta keep going now. Now you wanna take any anything that's in the bottle, it'll work for this next part. Um, I did it with a fairy my first time, and that worked. But it's better with the bug, because if you accidentally mess up, you can just pick it right back up. Alright? So now, I don't, I don't like this part. Okay, so you have to do a backflip, then press the bottle button and B before you land. So you're going to have your left hand on L and the control pad, and then your right hand is going to be on A, B, and this button with my thumb. So this is very hard to do. Yeah, I doubt I did it that time. <gasps> Whoa, I got it. See, look. I uh, There's no way to tell. But I'm hitting the B button. I'm swinging. Yes. This is what is supposed to happen. So pumped. Okay, now we can actually get some useful parts. So. Oh, notice how I emptied it and it's empty in my hand. But down here, it still says it's got a bug. That, that I'll show you right there that you did it right. All right, now, finally. All right. Warp to the Temple of Time. Whew. All right, we are almost done. Oh, boy. <laughs> I really hope I don't mess it up now. Okay. Alright, so now is the time to look at the second link in the description. Uh, the first one is just how to do all that general stuff, and the second one is going to be which item you want to equip. So, you put your sword in right here, like that. Alright, so I'm going to try to do bombs. Let's give this a whirl. Um... Go to items. Put the bombs right there. Alright, now our desired effect when we return is that on the B button, it'll be bombs. Get it? Because, okay, I, it makes sense to me now. It just clicked. Since we put the bottle on the B button, now that we've put the bombs on there, it should be on the B button too? Okay, please work. Yes! This is all Yes, we did it! I'm so happy. It's working. I'm pressing the B button and bombs are flying. I don't believe it. I have successfully done it. Oh, I'm so happy. Here we go, epic pose. I'm sorry, I love doing that. Alright, so that is how you do it. That is how you perform the bottle adventure glitch, putting any item you want on the B button. So that is how you perform it. Um, consult the Zelda speedrun site. Amazing site. Uh, perfect for learning more about this glitch. Um, you can use the columns to decide what you want on the B button. And after all that, we successfully did it. Alright, well, <laughs> I guess that's about it. I feel like it'd be really cool. If you did this early in the game, and then you just went through the whole game just solely using bombs, that'd be so cool. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. My first Ocarina of Time 3D video. How was it? Let me know in the by liking and commenting and telling your friends about how amazing I am for just copying what a website told me. And I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, did you like my video? If you did, you should probably like and subscribe. You can do that like right below the video there, so you might want to do that real quick.